Hello there, my name is Ashraf and I'm from Zenon Studios. Well, today I want us to look at an introduction to IBM SPSS. Uh, and as such, I'll launch SPSS on my computer. And if you don't have SPSS installed on your computer, please call the number that is running on your screen. We shall get help for you. And as you can see, I'm running version 27. This is the most current version of SPSS, the most recent. Okay, perfect. And uh, SPSS has launched. This first window, uh, I'll simply close it because we don't need it that much for now. So close it. And uh, this is what we are looking for. Perfect. So what you're looking at is IBM SPSS statistics. And uh, this is the program that we are going to use to uh, analyze and uh, quantify and uh, transform all our data sets from research and uh, we are mostly using this for the quantitative approach of research. Perfect. So without further ado, let's dive in. And uh, the lower left corner has two tabs. And as you can see, we have the data view that looks something like that. And then we have the variable view. And these are the two tabs that we are going to play with uh, with our data. Perfect. And for the start, you are going to use the variable view because it's here that you can enter the different variables uh, from your questionnaire. Perfect. And it's at this moment that I'm going to open a questionnaire that we are going to use for the purpose of this tutorial. Perfect. I have a nice questionnaire here. If I can zoom in. And as you can see, I'm labeling this as questionnaire one. It's on teacher's engagement. I have two sections on this questionnaire, section A and B. And section A is background characteristics. So as you can see, I, am, I have question number one as gender. So when I go back to SPSS, well, in the first column, you have name. So under name here, I'm going to type um, SA1. And SA1, in this case, is representing section A, question one. Yeah? Let me hope that makes sense. Section A, question one. Perfect. And uh, it's about gender. So numeric, sorry, the type, you can leave that for now. We did eight is okay. Decimals, I'm going to change that to zero. Simply um, hit that cell where you have decimals and click that down arrow to change the value to zero. Then the label, the label is like the name of, of, uh, of the data set and this is actually um, gender. So I'm going to label this as gender. Then the values, the values, if I click the cell for values, it's showing none, but it brings three dots here. So I click the three dots. So when I go back to my questionnaire, I have male as one and female as two. So I'm going to enter those two values. Those are the values I'm playing with. So when I say value one, the label for value one is male. After adding that, I click, sorry, after, yes, I click add. And then I'm going to write value two and the label for value two is female. Remember, I'm picking all these from the questionnaire. And I'll click add. And as you can see, we have two, one equal to male, two equal to female. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll simply click OK. I tend to be a little fast, so if you find me fast, please keep on pausing the video and rewinding until you get the idea. Perfect. So that's the value for that. And then we have missing. Let's leave that for now. Columns, that's OK for now. Align, measure. So the measure here. And if I click that cell for measure, you can see that I get three options. That is scale, ordinal, nominal. And if you have an, underst an understanding of scales in this case, uh, gender is a category. Uh, it's used to categorize people in different uh, sections, male, female, large category. So it's going to be a nominal scale. So I'll hit nominal. Perfect. And that data set is actually ready. So when I go back to my questionnaire, I have question two and it's the age. So when I go back to SPSS, I'm going to say the name is going to be section A, question two. Then uh, numeric is okay, change this to zero decimal. The label in this case is going to be age. Perfect, and the values. So values, click that cell, click the three dots, enter the values. When I go back to the questionnaire, I have up to 30 years and it's one. So go back to SPSS, the value one, uh, the label for that is up to up to 30 years. Click add. Then, uh, of course, I have 
value 2 that is 30 to 40 years so value 2 is 30 to 40 years click add and then uh, finally we have also value 3 and value 3 is 40 years and above so value 3 is 40 years and above uh, perfect you click add so we have the three values here so i'm going to hit ok and as you can see that reflects in in my data set perfect and uh, age uh, when you go to the measure tab now the measure column uh, it's going to be ordinal because age here has ranks a person that is aged 46 is ranked higher than a person that is aged 36 if that makes sense so the measure here is going to be ordinal perfect so when you go back to our question we have question three sorry sorry uh, question three and it's talking of the highest level of education so go back to SPSS and so this is going to be section A question three question three and set the decimals to zero the label is level of education so the values here click the three dots the values here are one is representing a diploma so come back here say so one the label for that is a diploma add go back to the questionnaire then bachelor's degree is uh, value two so two and the label for that is bachelor's bachelor's degree add then we have three as a postgraduate so three this will be post graduate add and four uh, is masters masters click add and as you can see we have the four values here so i'll click ok perfect and uh, this data set also will have a measure as ordinal because these different uh, values have um ranks a person that has a master's degree is ranked higher than a person that has a diploma so the scale will be ordinal perfect so if you go back we have question number four and it's talking of the experience so when i go back to spss i'm going to say section a question four then i'll change the decimals to zero then this is i'm going to call the label as experience then the values so values uh layer value one is uh, representing less than five years so come back here so one the label is going to be less than five years so add then uh, two value two is five to ten years so two uh this is five to 10 years add and uh, finally 3 11 years and above so 3 11 years and above click add so we have the three values here i'll hit ok and of course of course experience uh the measure is going to be original because a person that has 11 years of experience is ranked higher than a person that has one year experience perfect so Go back to the questionnaire. You have section A, question five, the responsibility in school. So let me hope, guys, you're getting the pattern here. So I'll change this to zero. And this is uh, the label is responsi responsibility in school. Responsibility in school. Now, values here are say subject teacher one. So come back here, say one. Is going to be a subject teacher add that then you're going to have two and two is a class teacher two is a class teacher add then three three is uh, a head of department and four is a senior administrator perfect so this is head of department Add and four is senior administrator. Administrator. Perfect. So add. 
Uh, we have the four values, hit OK. And that is, um, uh, if you go back to the questionnaire, that, that's all for section A. Then we go to section B, we have the teacher engagement. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to call this section B, SB, question one. Perfect. So the decimals, of course, have to be zero. Then the label is, if you go back to the questionnaire, the label is I love teaching. This is going to be section B, section B, question one, subsection one. So it should be SB11, SB11, yes. Then the label from here is going to be I love teaching, that very one. So I'll type, I love teaching, just the way I do. I love teaching, I do love teaching. And the values here, so if you go back here, the values are going to be strongly disagree, disagree, not sure, agree, strongly agree. So one is strongly disagree. So come in here and say one is going to be um, strongly disagree. And then two was uh, disagree. And then three was not sure. Some people are not sure. Then four is agree. And finally, five is strongly agree. Add. So we have the five values here and I'll hit OK. Perfect. So and the measure here, uh, SA5, the measure is supposed to be Odino. Odino. Then the measure for this, of course, uh, this is ranked data. If a person strongly agrees, this person is ranked higher than a person that strongly disagrees. So this is an ordinal scale. Perfect. And uh, for purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to stop at that. We're supposed to enter all this data all through uh, on the questionnaire. As you can see, uh, there is uh, more questions in here. So you're supposed to enter all this using the very same procedure and pattern we've used there. Perfect. So, um, let's assume this is my questionnaire. Now, after putting in the variables, and these are my variables, I'm going to go back to now the data view down here. So, click data view. And as you can see, we now have, we now have our variables up here in uh, SA1, SA2, SA3, SA4, just like that. And then, this first column here has 1, 2, and it goes, I don't know, up to infinity probably. Then, um, and these are the questionnaires. And as I shared before, my questionnaire is actually labeled. This is questionnaire one. So the information I'm picking from questionnaire one goes into this first column of questionnaire one. Then questionnaire two into questionnaire three in three, just like that. And then uh, when I go back to my questionnaire, uh, let me split my screen. Let me split, split my screen for the best view. So when I go back to my question, I'm going to input this information into SPSS. So this is questionnaire one. So one, if I click this column, I'm supposed to get a drop down arrow like this. And when I get this drop down arrow, uh, you can see I have two options, either male or female. And according to the questionnaire on my right, the person ticked female. So I'll click female. Then question two, the person did not tick anything so i'm going to leave that as blank for now then question three they are ticking a bachelor's degree so when i click the drop down i'll select a bachelor's and question four um they are working for less than five years question five let me hope you're getting the idea uh, they are just a subject teacher then sb11 uh, sb11 they agree so when i click the drop down I'll hit agree and assuming the variables were continuing, I'll still click the drop down and select the appropriate option. Perfect. Uh, if I can go to my next questionnaire, I have questionnaire two around also. So I'll go to two and this person is saying they are male. Then experience is 30 to 40 years, age, sorry. Then bachelor's degree, then 11 years. Then head of department, and they strongly agree, just like that. And if I have questionnaires three, I also input that I'm questionnaire three, just like that. And for purposes of this tutorial, let's stop here for now.
please practice with your questionnaires how to input this data. Please, if you find this video useful, give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in my next tutorial.